And as Sarah mentioned, housing is one of the biggest drivers of inflation. And today, Ottawa pledged $2 billion, it says, will help make renting in one of Canada's most expensive cities more affordable. Here's CTV's Annie Bergeron-Oliver. Provincial, municipal and federal leaders joined forces today, announcing billions to make one of Canada's most unaffordable cities cheaper to live in. But B.C. Premier David Eby admitted the Bank of Canada's interest rate is limiting their progress. They really need to pay attention to what's happening in B.C., how families are being hurt here, what is driving costs here, because I can tell you right now it's housing. We are optimistic that the Bank of Canada will uh, start bringing down interest rates uh, sometime this year, hopefully sooner rather than later, but that is their decision to make. Housing costs have been steadily rising for years, with new data from Statistics Canada showing that shelter costs are up 6.2% over the last year, with mortgage interest costs specifically up 27.4% and rent up 7.9%. We need the economy to normalize again. We need inflation to go down so we can start to see these interest rates go down, but we also have to sure that make sure that we build enough homes so we don't uh, cause prices to spike back up. A big part of the problem is low supply. Housing starts were down last year with construction starting on only about 223,000 units. To meet Ottawa's housing affordability target by 2030, estimates are Canada needs to build 3.5 million more homes than already planned. Constructing so much, so many houses in Canada in a short period of time it takes big amounts of investment and we should have a welcome sign for any kind of, uh, of housing investment in Canada. As supply steadily increases, housing-related costs are expected to drop. But analysts say don't expect to see pre-pandemic prices again. For prices to go back down to where it was pre-COVID, we're talking like 30 to 40 percent. And for that to happen, like economic Armageddon needs to happen. Like like a global economic event. The Bank of Canada will make its next interest rate decision on March 6th, but economists are not predicting a rate cut, Omar, just yet. All right, Annie, thank you.